gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya First we gon' squash, then we gon' bury ya ass shovel style Go, let's go! F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya First we gon' squash, then we gon' bury ya ass shovel style Go, let's go! F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya The heavyweight champs in the mall Shout out to my man Grim from the uh, Silly Super Pop channel for using my song F Gon' Give It To Ya. We gon' give it to ya in his um, short, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, it was, it was a labor of love. And uh, Grim, if you're watching this, hey, my guy, don't worry about copyright or anything. The, the instrumental I use is a remake. So it's a copyright free version of the ex gonna give it to you instrumental, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So yeah, my guy, if you want to ever use it as a theme song, you're more than welcome to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to claim you, you know what I mean? If, you, if for some reason you do get a claim from me, just let me know. Um, I'll let you know how to uh, properly dispute it. That way I can clear you, you know what I mean? That way there's no issues there. But uh, you shouldn't get a copyright claim, though, if you use that, that theme song, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah. I, if you guys missed the opening bumper... You know, my man done use um, my song in his short, which was awesome. Didn't have to do that. But, yo, I really appreciate the fact that he did. And I was hoping that he would use it, whether it was in a short or in a video. You know what I mean? I was I was really lo looking forward to hearing um, my song possibly, you know, show up in, in one of his videos. And who knows? Um, maybe it will. You know what I mean? Um, so far, we got we got a short. And uh, shout out to Tina, which who is uh, Grim's fiance. She has a channel called called a tina's test show test t-e-s-t -E show uh, she shared my my video on her channel so yeah shout out to tina for that much love much respect you know what i mean and um yeah i wore my d generation x shirt because i don't have a df shirt yet i did however go to pro wrestling tees and order me a df shirt i will uh leave the link for the silly super, the silly super pop channel uh, if you guys want to go check out Grin's videos, and while you're there, if you're in one of his videos, if you go to his description, the link for his pro wrestling t uh, store where you can get your own DF shirt will be in the link in the, the video description on his videos. So, yeah, um, definitely can't wait for my DF shirt. And uh, yeah, shout out to everybody really that's been showing love to the song. And um, <clears throat> as you guys are very much aware, let me get the proper <laughs> intro because man, I'm so excited. What's good, uh, you guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another Method to the Madness video. Yes, man, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I find that this time, uh, this one is really fitting, because we got a lot to discuss, as you can probably tell. Uh, but yeah, uh, man, I'm so stoked. I'm at a loss for words. I try to get my head, head straight. Um, so yeah, uh, let me give you guys a bit of the, of the uh, backstory. As to what brought this song on and uh, what made me want to make this song for um, for Grimm, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Um, I've been following Grimm since 2014. Um, I've been watching him for many years, ever since he used to host his, um, his indie backyard wrestling fed um, in his grandmother's backyard. Uh, shout out to Super Grimm, may she rest in paradise. Um, his channel, uh, Silly Super Pop, it's actually named after his grandfather, Super Pop. Shout out to Super Pop as well. May he too rest in paradise. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, and uh, yeah, I've, been, I've just been watching Grim ever since. Um, don't really comment on his videos very often. And Grim, if you're watching this video, I'm the one who left a comment a while back. I don't know if, if you'll remember. Hopefully, you still have this video up. I'm pretty sure you do because you have a lot of uh, all. You pretty much have all your videos up still. So um, you'll probably know what I'm talking about when I say. Um, there's a video you did where you raced your Camaro um, against a, a dude's Mustang at a racetrack. And um, I made a joke. And Grim, and Grim, and for future reference, YouTube, I am not body shaming, okay? Because Grim is a comedian, and you know me. I got my jokes. I'm a bit of a comedian myself. So, you know, I don't mean no harm when I say that. Uh, I left a comment on that video that Grim did where he raced his Camaro against his dude's Mustang. Um, 
my comment said, yo, check it out. It's the fat and by curious. <laughs> so yeah, Grim, that was me. That was the one who left that comment many moons ago. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, Gr Grim doesn't care. He's one of those guys that, hey, he laughs at himself. You know what I mean? Before he laughs at others, he's one of those guys that can laugh at himself as well. You know what I'm saying? Which I always appreciate. I always uh, respect and admire from this dude. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And uh, I enjoy watching his stuff. You know what I mean? It, it, it helps me get through some tough times. Uh, whenever I'm feeling low, depressed, or whatever, you know, I look forward to uh, watching one of Grim's videos. Because it really helps to cheer me up, perk me up. And this dude inspires me to, to keep grinding. You know what I mean? Keep pushing. Um, even though what I'm doing is completely different than what he's doing. You know, uh, with, with music. Whether it's my music reactions or my own original music. You know, this guy inspires me to keep going. You know, you know. so um, I'll, I, I've been wanting to do something um, to, to give back to Grimm. And um, everybody, you know, that's a part of GTS Wrestling and as well as, you know, those who are part of DF, you know, what, what, what can I do to get back to these guys, especially Grim, and um, that, that, you know, not only can I get back to him, but it would be a golden opportunity for me to um, remix one of my favorite songs from one of my all-time favorite artists, DMX, who also helped me get through um, some tough times. Um, his song, Lord, Give Me a Sign, that song saved my life. I mean, I'm pretty sure I told this story in past videos, but that song, uh, it really saved my life. And X Gonna Give It To You, it's another one of my favorite DMX songs of all time. So, I, um, sure enough, I was, I was watching Grim stuff and I see that, okay, he brought back DX, or DX, DF, which is a parody faction of D-Generation X, hence why I'm wearing my DX shirt. Um, cause I don't have my DF shirt yet, but anyway, uh, what can I do to give back to him and also remix one of my favorite songs from one of my all time favorite artists, you know what I mean? That's really, that really, you know, both my favorite artist and my favorite YouTuber, um, helped me get through some tough times. What can I do to pay homage and give back? Surely enough, as I'm watching his video and, and see that this guy brought back DF and is adding a whole new flavor to DF with this whole F going give it to you, going give it to you chant that they've been doing lately. And I know just the thing. Let me remix this, uh, this DMX X going give it to you song. Let me show it. Let me somehow, you know, reach out to Grim, get it to him, you know, so he's, so he can use it, you know what I mean? Whenever he likes, however, as many times as he likes, it really doesn't matter. Again, Grim, that instrumental is copyright free. So don't worry about copyright. And, um, I saw my opportunity, you know, just just saw that I can, you know, do a remix, pay homage, and um, also give back to the guy who's helped me get through some tough times, you know, and also pay homage to the guy upstairs, you know what I'm saying, uh, that, you know, also helped me get through some tough times, and um, so yeah, so that's, that's, and then boom, F gonna give it to you is the remix that, that was born, and um yeah, th this was a song that means a great deal to me, you know, and um, <clears throat> I know this is not everyone's favorite track that I put out and everything, you know, and um, totally understand. Um, I'm, I'm not expecting any pity by, you know, getting this backstory. I don't expect any apologies or anything because I get it. You know, they, they don't understand, you know, so it's all good. It's all gravy. You know what I mean? Um so yeah, and this was something that I just want to do, just something to have fun with, and again, just to give back, you know, to those who, like I said, helped me get through some tough times. So let's go ahead, um, in true in a true reaction format style. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's let's go ahead and give a breakdown on this remix. F gonna give it to you. So hopefully. Those who may have misunderstood, I think it's a better word, this song, um, can better understand where I was coming from with it and why my lyrics were written in the way that they were. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get right into this. F gon' give, give, go give, give it to you. We gon' give it to you. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. And that's all it was. It was just them doing that. That's, that's what gave me the idea. If you're not done with that... We, we got, got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. 
Yo, yo, what is good? This is a JJV remix. These are some of my um, stock footage here, you know, to to make a, a Titan Tron like vidya. You know what I'm saying? I was going all out with this, man. They weren't just getting a theme song. They were they was gonna get a Titan Tron video that they can use too at wrestling events, you know what I mean? That have that may or may not have, you know, screens. Anyway. For the boys and degeneration fat. If you ain't down with this hit here, we got three words. And how fitting, right? With this little graphic I'm playing right now, you know what I mean? It's got the matching green background to go with the DF, green DF letters. Let's go. Words for you. Eat it. Yeah. So that intro, DF, for those of you who may not know, it, st it stands for Degeneration Fat. That's that's the name of the group. So again, I'm not, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not fat shaming. I'm not body shaming in any way. You know, understand this is a a comedian, right, who's also a, a independent pro wrestler. You know, he's a big wrestling fan and he likes to parody, you know, some things that are going on in wrestling. You know what I mean? WWE, AEW, Impact Wrestling, and what have you. So anyway. Let's get it. I'm sorry, um, before we get into the verse, so in the intro, and something that I wanted people to understand too, this wasn't supposed to be, this wasn't supposed to be like, um, you know, like this great, um, how can I say this, great lyrical, miracle, spiritual type of song, you know what I mean, this was something for me to just have fun with, you know, it's a, it's a parody wrestling theme, it's also, you know, a remix, again, to pay respect, pay homage to one of my favorite artists. And, uh, but in the intro, <clears throat> you know, I, I was hoping people would understand, okay, it's just a wrestling theme. This is something that he's just having fun with. This was also one of those songs where I was playing around with the mix a bit more. I started experimenting with delays and other things and whatnot. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get in with, with the first verse. Let's get it. Hey, yo, wanna fuck around? You wanna find out? Set foot in a town, DF's in the house. Damn right it's going down. Finna body all your clowns. All right, so right away, you wanna fuck around? You wanna find out? One of uh, Grimm's sayings or catchphrases, if you will, um, he always says, you know, if you want some, you know, fuck around and find out. You want, you know what I mean? You want, you wanna mess around, whatever. You wanna, you know, find out, fuck around, find out. You know what I mean? That's one of his sayings. Uh, another one of his sayings is, of course, a parody saying from DX that you heard in the opening where he says, you know, and of course, if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Instead of two words, it's three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. Instead of suck it, you know, so there's references. The reason my lyrics were, again, written in a way, there's references to the things that this man says and he does. So hopefully that'll clear some of the air. For those who misunderstood what this song is supposed to be about. Anyway. So you finna eat that wood. Uh, they tend to have some hardcore matches where they'll put people through tables. Or they'll slam people through doors as well. Wooden doors. Um, that they'll rig up, set up just like tables. But, you know, but instead it's a door that's acting like a table. They put bodies through. So that's what I'm referencing when I say you're gonna eat that wood, you're either gonna go, you're either gonna go through a table, a door. You can look at it as a double entendre as well, and find a dirty joke in there that it's all gravy. Cause tr trust me, yo, your your boy wasn't messing around. I mean, I was, and I wasn't at the same time. But anyway, you hear our theme music, you best get to moving. Don't you be too stupid. So when you hear our theme music, you best get to moving. Get to moving is one if one of uh do hops. Uh, catchphrases. Who's Doohop? Doohop is Grimm's brother. He too is also in DF, and I'll show you who he is because he is in the in this video that I put together, or in the at, at least in this video that I borrowed from Grimm's channel to put this video together. Anyway. Yeah, as we get ruined out of this ring, best believe we'll get booted. The F be breaking next, and we beat Castle Jack. We deserve respect. You best come correct to what you don't impress. You but the rejects if you want to come get anytime, anywhere, homie. Yeah, bet. Cross us, brother, and you best be prepped for the regret. Yeah, acknowledge your tribal chef. Go so, yeah, acknowledge your tribal chef. Grim lately has been parodying Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, you know, it's a WWE superstar. 
he has this catchphrase, you know, acknowledge your tribal chief. Well, Grimm's parody version of that saying is acknowledge your tribal chef. So that's where that line came from. Anyway. Gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. F gonna give it to you. We gonna give it to you. You gonna eat this DP with your mouthpiece. You should have retreat. Like, yo, let's go. So you gonna eat this defeat, or what I should have said is you gonna eat defeat because one of Grimm's sayings um, is you gonna eat defeat because one of his finishing moves is um, is a, is the sweet chin music originally created by or at least originally was created for Shawn Michaels. That was his finisher, right? The sweet chin music. Only Grimm because he's a big guy. He calls it double chin music. So. You know, but it's it's still basically the uh, same move. And whenever he, usually um, during certain segments when he's gonna use it or attempt to use his finisher, or which is one of his finishers, he he always tells his rivals, his enemies, uh, "You about to eat defeat, or you're gonna eat defeat." And then he'll attempt to double chin music them. So that's where that came from. F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to First So there you see I changed up the hook a little bit. That was a intro hook into the main hook, something I've never done before. I always wanted to try, and I saw my opportunity to try that. It was something different for me. We gon' squash, then we gon' bury your ass shovel style. Go, let's go. F gon' give it to ya, we gon' So first we gon' squash, then we gon' bury your ass shovel style. Um, in wrestling... The term squash comes from the phrase, well, the term squash, squash match. What is a squash match? A squash match is when it's a one-sided match, you know, somebody gets dominated in, in that ring, you know, for however long, and then they freaking, that's it, then they get beat, that's it. And that's where that came from. First, we're going to squash, meaning, yo, it's not going to be any competition, man. we just going to lay you out, and then... Uh, bury you shovel style which is one of another one of Grimm's sayings the, the, one of the few sayings that, that he has one of his other sayings that he has is best believe I'm gonna bury your ass shovel style so I wanted to make sure I incorporated that into the hook because that's I think that's one of his more commonly used catchphrases so being that it was his more commonly used catchphrase it felt fitting to work that into the hook so anyway Give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, first we gon' squash, then we gon' bury your ass shovel style, go, let's go, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to the heavyweight champs in the motherfucking building, we done shatter that. So as you can see here, Grim is holding up his, uh, his world title, this is the, uh, GTS, uh, legendary world title, I believe if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, and yes, Grim is currently, uh, the champion of this brand and uh, if you want to find out why it is well hey y'all need to go check out my man's channel you know what i'm saying don't be sleeping on my man here man if you love wrestling pro wrestling you love wwe you love AEW, and all that happy fun stuff go check out my man you know what i mean go check out my man grim at the silly super pop channel gts wrestling dude it's a hell of a time it's a banger you know what i'm saying bruh anyway Ceiling, they mess jobbers will never know that feeling. Badass so, already shattered that ceiling, meaning him and pretty much everybody except for this one guy who is new. Um, it's a dude that has his has the, the short hairstyle, he's got the curly hair on top and everything. He's a new guy, I'm not too familiar with. Um, but everyone else, including Graham, though, have all been GTS champion at one at one point or another. At the time when I made this, though, they've added new members who have yet to be GTS champion, um, but they've held other titles, whether it's uh, G the, the GTS Intercontinental title, the US title, or tag title. Um, so yeah, pretty much everybody with the exception of the new guy here. Let me see, let me see if I can wind it back some. This guy right here on my right or our right uh he he's new to uh df and i believe he's also new to gts because i don't remember him at all he looks like a young guy too so uh i have yet to see him with a gts title 
So anyway. Gonna give it to the heavyweight champs in the motherfucking building. We done shatter that ceiling. Lame ass jobbers will never know that feeling. So lame ass jobbers will never know that feeling. That comes from a, that is a wrestling term. Uh, what a jobber is is basically uh, an enhancement talent. What an enhancement talent is is basically is someone to help make a top star basically look good. You know they do their best or whatever to try to make something out of themselves, but they ultimately get beat. You know they 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 sell everything that this that this superstar that they're trying to put over. You know what I mean does to them. You know what I mean to make them look good. And no matter what, they always lose. That's what a jobber is. Someone that just does does the job. You know what I mean? Just takes a dive or whatever, loses, you know. That's what a jobber is. We'll never know that feeling. Obviously, being that this is a jobber who's not going anywhere, he just, he and or she just loses a bunch of matches. Obviously, they're not going anywhere. They're not going to win any titles anytime soon. So, lame-ass jobbers will never know that feeling. Badass motherfuckers walking on the face of this earth. Yo, where's that shovel that I'm digging this dirt? You finna leave here in a motherfucking hearse. So where's that shovel? I'm finna dig this dirt. Again, that comes from a wrestling term where they're talking about burying talent, you know. Um, burying the talent shovel style, which is one of Grimm's sayings as well. So, you know, it's a little play on wrestling terminology and it's a little play on the terminology that he uses specifically for his character and his brand. Should've gone to church, gonna end you like a curse Bring your fucking worst, we ain't laid down for nobody Well known by a mass majority Bound down to us cause we are that royalty Hell yeah, we all built for war Let the bodies hit the doors and we kicks it hardcore Best believe, your ass has been warned by the best So we all built for war, let the bodies hit the doors Again, references to uh, GTS Wrestling You know, obviously these guys are built for you know, that in-ring action, that wrestling action, they're ready to go to war, they're ready to fight, you know, you know what I mean, they're ready to duke it out, slug it out, you know what I mean, let the bodies hit the doors, again, they use doors sometimes, or most of the time, as makeshift tables to put their opponents through, so let the bodies hit the doors. Damn team to ever been formed, catch on a daily grind, putting in that time, losers sitting on the sidelines, and they always crying, Play so... That whole uh, catch us on our daily grind, them doing their thing in the ring, uh, catch us on our daily grind, putting in that time, you know, uh, being loyal, dedicated to their craft, you know, constantly getting better, uh, whether they're they're doing their regular GTS stuff or if they're wrestling at a at a you know a local indie show for another promotion or if it's their promotion, regardless of whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, that's them putting in their time, putting in that work. Losers sitting on the sidelines and they're always crying. That's a reference to uh, those who are sitting at ringside, you know what I mean? And they're always crying, complaining because, you know, this guy, you know, he puts in, he puts that time in, he puts in that work and he's, and, and, you know, he's grinding, he's winning titles and shit and they want him to lose his title, you know, so they're crying and bitching all the time. It's also a reference to people in his comment section that be bitching and crying, talking about, oh, how GTS sucks now because insert reason here or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? That's that's where that line comes from, you know what I mean? Losers on the sidelines and they're always crying. So, there you go, bruh. You salty suckers best get with the deal. All you salty suckers best get with the deal, you know what I mean? Get with the program, you know what I mean? You, you want to bitch and cry, well... You want you want things to happen, you know. Don't hate participate. You know what I'm saying? Make make things happen. Eat some solid steel shit. To so this is Do Hop. This is the guy that I was referencing earlier in the first verse when I said best get to moving. One of his sayings is get to moving. You know what I mean? If you watch uh, Do Hop's, if you follow Do Hop's channel, which is called Roscoe Do Hop, uh, one word. And uh, if you watch his videos, he always closes out his videos like, oh look. According to my watch or look at my watch, that means it's time for us to get to moving. You know, that's one of his sayings. And I want to make sure I incorporated that um, in this song. You know what I mean? I want to have as much uh, GTS reference, DF references, uh, Grimm and Doohop references. Because they are like the main two 
founding members of DF. So I want to make sure I have a lot of references, a lot of stuff to incorporate into the song, you know, that truly captures the uh, the spirit of DF. You know what I'm saying? Of GTS Wrestling. So anyway. To get real in the motherfucking field, you can drop to your knees, try to play, but it's too late, you see? Gonna eat Diffy with your damn mouthpiece. Y'all should just retreat. See how I corrected that there? Gonna eat Diffy. I should have done that on the first go around. Um, but man, I was just having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Like, yo, let's go. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. First we gon' squash. Then we gon' bury your ass shovel style. Go, let's go. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. First we gon' squash. Then we gon' bury your ass shovel style. We gon' give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, first we gon' squash, then we gon' bury your ass shuffle style. Go, let's go. F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, first we gon' squash, then we gon' bury your ass shuffle style. Go, let's go. F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya, F gon' give it to ya, we gon' give it to ya. Okay, I'm gonna let this last part play out. Are not going to win this match. As a matter of fact, you're gonna recognize me, and you're gonna recognize these nuts. Too stupid. Oh yeah, so that reminds me. Earlier, I made a reference when I said, "Don't you be a too stupid." Again, that's another one of Grimm's sayings. Too stupid. He calls his enemies his rivals too stupid that's where that came from so again if my lyrics were if you feel like my lyrics have been dumbed down or whatever the case it's not that they've been dumbed down it's just that i've again wrote them in a way to where it references everything that this man says and does everything that these guys say and do that's in association with this brand you know what i'm saying right oh, oh, that's hey. the Eat it! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his nuts had a family, oh, damn it. I love... So that's Wampus. That's one of Grimm's uh, many friends <clears throat> that, you know, sometimes shows up at GTS. Although he's been showing up a lot lately. Um, I love the reference he made there. I'm pretty sure his nuts had a family, damn it. Man, classic... WWF slash WWE Jim Ross reference there. I love it. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. F gon' give it to you. We gon' give it to you. And there you have it. That's all it was. Them doing that chant, that's what sparked the idea for this remix, you know, that I was able to do to, again, pay homage to one of my favorite rappers of all time who helped get me through some tough times, ultimately saved my life. And um, also at the same time, be able to give back to one of my favorite YouTubers who also helped me get through some tough times. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, <clears throat> and Grim did hit me up behind the scenes in the Twitter DMs. He really loved it. You know what I mean? He, he thought it was, it, was, it was very entertaining. He said it was fantastic. He loved it. He hit me up for the video and everything. And... Um, yeah, man, and I just hope to, I hope to hear hear this song, you know what I mean, and more videos and stuff, man, but I mean, I, I understand him being being cautious, wanting to avoid copyright, but again, Graham, if you're watching this, again, don't worry about the copyright, the beat I use, it's not the original beat from X going to give it to you, it's, it's a remade beat, so it's a copyright free beat, so, and I'm not going to copyright claim you, just so you know, for future reference, you know what I mean, why would I copyright claim one of my favorite YouTubers of all time? You know what I mean? That, that would be shady as fuck, and I ain't like that. I ain't built like that, man. I'm not trying to take food out of anybody's mouth or anything like that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> bruh. So feel free to use that song whenever you like, Grim, um, and get your bread, man. You know what I mean? Um, this was my way of wanting to give back and to show my thanks, my appreciation for entertaining me, you know, th through the years and everything, you know, and uh, 
I can't wait to see more GTS action. If you guys want to check out Grim's uh, channel, again, it's the Silly Super Pop channel. I'll be sure to leave the link for his channel in the description below. And if you guys want to check out his brother Doohop, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link for his channel as well in the description down below. And uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys dig it. And now, hopefully, you guys now understand <clears throat> what I was trying to get at with the way I wrote this, the way that th this was this was meant to be done. Um, yeah. I mean, if it changes your opinions on it, cool. If it doesn't, hey, that's cool too. I understand not everything I put out, uh, not everyone is going to like everything that I put out. I get it. And it's all all good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any animosity towards anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's all love at the end, end of the day. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. So feel free. Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Please be civil. Please be cool. You know what I mean? No need to come at me sideways. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, cause again, this was something I've been wanting to do for a long time and, um, something that I spent a great deal of time on, you know, and, uh, yeah. All right, guys, again, leave your, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of, of the story. Let me know if you follow GTS wrestling, let me know what you like about GTS wrestling. Let me know if you're digging the song, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. Till next one, y'all. Bless one. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in my description down below. I have a merch store link of my own if you want to pick up some original JJV um, merchandise. Uh, there's a link down below along with a discount code that you're more than welcome to use. It'll take 10% off on all your purchases. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the other links down there as well. And uh, as well as links to, you know, my fan bands channels. You know, go support the community. That'd be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Later. Of course, if you're not down with that, I got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.